So we're in a bookstore and it's kind of awkward because it's hard to find somewhere that's actually isolated so I can take this video because I realize I haven't done a video in so long. So apologies if the sound quality is totally crappy. I am kind of stressed out because I am doing Christmas shopping but I am in a bookstore so I'm just wandering the aisles trying to avoid people and hoping people aren't staring at me too weirdly and I hope you enjoy this video because it is the presents you want to get a book lover. Um, starting with me, I am getting my friend Divergent by Veronica Raboth, and I know like three people have already mentioned it, but it is an awesome book. Um, second up is Revolution by Jennifer Donnelly. It is a um, contemporary slash historical fiction that I seriously enjoyed. Number three, if you haven't read it yet, or your friend or whoever you're buying for has not read it yet, you need, need, need to get The Hunger Games. I mean, like, there's this huge display here, and I swear there's like 200 copies of Catching Fire and Mockingjay just sitting around on the ground. That's how much people love it. I'm not joking when I say there is a lot of Hunger Games stuff here. Oh, and I just thought I'd show you the teen section of my bookstore, and I find it pretty awesome. And here is Catching Fire. If your friend has not been exposed to the gloriousness that is The Hunger Games, you need to get on that. Um, next up, I will have to say, is um, for contemporary, you cannot miss out on Anna and the French Kiss, because it is just so funny, so gloriously lovely. It is definitely one that you don't want to miss out on. Um, after that, I will move on to the paranormal genre, and I think I would recommend Daughter of Snow and Bone. I enjoyed most of it, and I know some people just absolutely loved it, and I understand why people love it, and I understand the universal the universality of it, and because of that, I would totally recommend it because I feel like a lot of people would connect with the book and absolutely love it. Um, after that, I will have to go, look, I'm out of genre, see? Um, other great dystopian books that I love is uh, The Knife of ne Let Never Letting Go is probably a must read. Uh, oh, if you like fairies, I would definitely recommend the Iron King series by Julie Cagala. Um, it's wonderful. It's, um, The Iron Queen, the third book, is totally worth it. After that, I'm going to recommend a John Green book because I think John Green is hilarious and he's awesome and I will say Looking for Alaska by John Green because it's thoughtful, it's insightful, it's very, very well written and it's a great book overall. And last off, I'm recommending uh, The Truth About Forever by Sarah Dessen because I find Sarah Dessen is just so lovely. I love her books. They're so... They're not even chick flick because they're they it's so easy to relate to the main characters and I just I just love Sarah Dozen, basically. So that's the story. Anyways, this concludes this video in this very, very badly filmed style. I hope you enjoyed it. It's commitment harmony, it's commitment to bookstores and to totally book sass because I love you girls. And yeah. Uh, just so you know, I recommended these books mostly based on the fact that I feel like it's books that will appeal to a broad audience and a lot of people like this. Oh, hello. We're not in a bookstore anymore, but too bad. Uh, before I could publish that video, I realized I missed out on The Scorpio Races by Maggie Steve Otter. It is a, such a, an amazing book and I think a lot of people would love it, so I would hugely recommend it and I can't believe I forgot about it, but yep, don't forget, put that on your list, Scorpio Races. I thought of another book actually. If you're buying for adults, I would strongly, strongly recommend these. Totally already like overexposed type of books. But The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo by Stieg Larsson, trust me, it is a fast paced, brilliant, brilliantly twisted and weird type of book, but it's definitely not for children. Um, there's a movie coming out, I'm definitely looking forward to it. And the second book I will recommend is the Game of Thrones series by George R. R. Martin. Uh, I basically love the TV series. I have actually never read the books, and because of that, I feel kind of bad recommending something like that, but I have read so many positive, positive things about the book, and I just, I feel like recommending it is not going to hurt. So, if you're buying for an adult, maybe check out the Game of Thrones series. Bye. Yeah, that's it.